Hi, welcome back. So this is the final forensics job roll. There is two more videos after this. Um, I'll let you see what those are. One of them is a quiz because who doesn't love a quiz during 2020? And it's just about the um, different videos and the different job roles. So see how many you get right. And you can always email me as well and let me know how many you got right. And um, because I'll put my email on there. Okay, so today's forensic job role is an arson investigator. So this is definitely a role that I knew existed, but I haven't never really heard anything about it. Wouldn't know how somebody would get into this role. So quite an interesting one. Um, so essentially an arson investigator would be an expert that would look at residue, ash and other substances um, after a fire has done its damage and they would be able to tell whether that fire was intentional or whether it was an accident. Um, sometimes they might even be called onto the scene of a crime or um, the scene of a fire whilst it's happening because they can tell the characteristics of a fire and they can see whether something is suspicious or not. So again, real experts in their field to be able to look at a fire's behaviour and see whether it's kind of criminal or not. Um, if you did want to go into this role, then you don't necessarily, there isn't, there isn't a degree that does this specialism, but you could do kind of science at college, because obviously we know that there's a lot of science involved in fires. Um, and then a university degree would definitely help, especially something criminal related, because then you can bring those two subjects together, kind of law and criminal and science, and you could bring those together. So although you might not need a university degree, it definitely does help. And if you wanted to do this role, you can expect the average wage of being around 50,000, which again is a really good wage. So I'm going to show you a video. This last one has got a video. Um, it's only two minutes long. Again, it's a little bit dramatised, but the five key points that it pulls out are really interesting. So just going to um, share my screen with you. Uh, where's that got now? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. So hopefully you can see that now. And I'm just going to share my computer sound. There we go. Four observations, six questions. Do you know what you need to do when you arrive at a fire scene? Let's find out. When Captain Harrison and his crew arrived at Jack's home, they observed the fire's behavior. The engineer noticed that the fire was burning faster than expected. The crew also observed multiple points of origin. The kitchen area presented several oddities. Intense burning at floor level suggested that the fire burned from the ground up. Strange, since kitchen fires typically start from stove tops or other surfaces above the ground. The blackened countertops spoke to the fire's extreme heat. The search for incendiary devices began. A matchbook and cigarette were found near some cloth remnants. This fire was intentionally trailed into the kitchen. Trailer marks stretched into the family room and across the couch. This room did not burn by accident either. The trailer on the staircase ushered the fire into the second story. Certain environmental modifications also became apparent. Several windows were propped open both upstairs and downstairs. Excessive fuel loads in the living room caught their attention as well. Even though the captain did not detect any suspicious behavior, his concerns were sufficiently raised after asking himself the six key questions. Was there a clear crime involved? Not necessarily, but a forced entry was likely. Were there any fatalities or major injuries? Thankfully, no. Was there major property loss? Yes, the house was a total loss. Was the cause of the fire too complex to determine? Yes, there were multiple points of origin. 
and the kitchen burned in an odd manner. Were there any clear indicators of arson? Yes. Was the captain just suspicious? This question was not necessary in this case, since he already had reason to call. So I'm just going to leave that there. Um, so yeah, it, a really interesting role actually, um, especially when you're dealing with cases of fraud and whatnot, because the video does go on to say that that guy there um, had kind of like done it himself. So you can go and watch that video, rest of that video on YouTube if you want. Um, so yeah, as I said, next two videos, make sure you tune in. One of them's a quiz and one of them's just kind of overarching all these forensic job roles that I really hope you've enjoyed because I've enjoyed presenting them. Um, and I want to know your score on the quizzes. So definitely let me know what you get um, once you've done the quiz.